Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony Bowie Tran and welcome to the Seller Trade Craft channel. So in my last episode, I talked about my balls to the walls launch method. And a lot of people kind of heard that I had a team over in Asia and like I utilize VAs a lot. So I've around anywhere from five to seven. So in this episode, I really wanted to talk to you guys about why you guys should definitely have VAs and when in when in your Amazon stage should you guys get VAs. And I'll give you guys 10 tips on how to basically have a successful VA hire. Why should you hire a VA? All right, so basically, do you really think you can get to a million dollar business by yourself? Uh, maybe, you can, right? But you're gonna do a lot of work. At the end of the day, we're all in this business, right? We're on this journey together, if you're following me, to ha live that lifestyle where we can maximize the amount of time that we put in, right? So I was talking to my friend earlier and you know, everyone's always talking about profit margins, ROI, you know, but what we really should be focusing on is ROT, right? So your, your return on time. And in order to maximize like your growth in your business, you need to focus on the things that grow your business, right? You can't be stuck in the daily operations of your business where you're like packing boxes every day, right? Or looking up at keyword rankings, like what are they at today, you know? A VA can give that to you, a VA can give you those reports. So what I'm trying to say is, do you have a business or do you have a job, right? So for those of you who are doing Amazon full time, do you have a business or do you have a job? And what I mean by that is like, can you leave your Amazon business running by itself for the next, I don't know, 30 days by itself, right? Can you leave it alone for the next 60 days by itself and will it run smoothly without you? To me, um, it can run, what, in my business, it probably could run 30 days, could run 60 days, right? But I know the business wouldn't grow without me, right? So like, I'm still stuck on trying to figure out those components, right? Like, I feel like there are people out there that can help me out with that. But in my business, that's like one of my pain points, you know? So. We're all trying to work and strive towards something. So you need to figure out how you can focus on growing your business. And to me, VAs can really help with that, right? So right now we're stuck with do spinning like a couple plates, right? So what we're doing is spinning plates as entrepreneur. We're spinning this plate, we're spinning the social media plate, we're running the social media channel, right? We're doing customer service, we're spinning that plate, right? And then we're also, let's see, uh, trying to optimize our listings. So we're spinning that plate looking at PPC, so spinning these plates, right? So we got these plates spinning. You see, you see them spinning? They're spinning, all right? They're spinning, 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 spinning. So what we should be doing as an entrepreneur, as a boss, right? What you wanna do is hire people to spin the plates for you, and what you do is make sure you maintain what they've done, right? Or have them maintain what they're doing, right? Have them spin the plate for you, right? Don't get focused on spinning the plates all by yourself. You're gonna have to let go of spinning the plates in order for other people to help you grow your business, right? You don't get stuck in like the small, small little things. And if you want some reading material, this book right here, The E-Myth, was like a game changer, right? So after I read this book, it's basically about a chick who opened up a bakery, right? She opened a bakery and this dude's like, nah, you need to run it like McDonald's. And then like, you know, like who wants to, you know, McDonald's kind of has a bad reputation. Like who wants to run it like a McDonald's? And then he breaks it down. He's like, you know, McDonald's has all these systems and processes. If one, if the fry guy leaves, another fry person come in and they can stir up the fries, there'll be no problem at all. All right, so I highly recommend this book if you want some more information about how to get your mindset into thinking about systems and processes, right? Because these systems and processes that your VAs can help you do will help you grow your business and help you maintain it and hopefully, you know, like if you leave your business alone for a year, it'll still grow without you, all right? So when should you hire a VA, all right? So this is a question I get asked a lot. A lot of people are like, man, I don't wanna spend money on a VA because like it's gonna cost money. All right, so you gotta realize like, it's kind of like this little X chart, right? When, at what, at what point, are you doing so much stuff or doing so much daily operations? Are you working literally like 25 hour hours a day because you're packing boxes um, or doing any of stuff like that? Like any daily operations? Like are you wasting time doing customer service emails? Because like one thing I hate doing, I hate, I hate, because you get the dumbest questions on Amazon. People are like, hey, what color is this? You know, and I'm like, yo, the listing says black, right? You know, like what, what color t-shirt is it? Like the listing says black, the picture looks black, like colorblind people know what black is. Like 
pe there's gonna be a lot of dumb questions and you should not be dealing with these questions you know have a VA do them so what I'm trying to say is when you can start switching your time for money when when you can start switching your time for money as in like I'm gonna stop focusing about the customer service and telling people what color is it, it's black because I'm gonna go do online arbitrage right I'm gonna be bringing in the money so if I spend another if I have those 15 minutes where I'm not trying to find and deal with uh, customer service issues in those 15 minutes I could potentially be generating a certain amount of number right so it goes back to ROT return on time right so if you're doing retail arbitrage right same thing if you're packing boxes you need to hire someone to fucking pack boxes because if you're packing boxes you're not out there sourcing right if you're out there sourcing that's when the money is happening that's when you're generating money right it's the same reason why sales companies right in any company the people who get paid a ton are the sales people because the sales people are bringing in the money do you think the guys that are running the daily operations are getting those big bonuses no right so to grow your business you got to focus on bringing in more income and the other way you can do that right besides you bringing in the income is hiring a VA to bring in the income there's definitely VAs out there that do online arbitrage right that do private label product research right so these people are bringing in money potentially right so like maybe it's like you know you pay them but eventually they hit something right they're like oh I found this stuff on on this slick deals website and we you bought all 1,000 items right so you're paying them what three four seven six dollars an hour like super cheap and they find you know like one product that does like a thousand dollars thousand dollars in profit yeah that's a really good return on investment right that's a keeper so you should keep them and scale it up right so think about like how much each person can generate when you hire them All right same thing with private label research you're gonna have to sink some money up upfront costs to hire a, a VA to do some private label research but if they find one product and remember in private label like one product can change your life I'm gonna quote that all right one product in private label can change your life all right so keep that in mind all right so enough talking about why you should hire a VA and when you should hire a VA so these are gonna be my top 10 tips of why and how you should hire a VA right so the last two are gonna be my favorite tips so if you want to jump ahead and go that one go ahead but if not make sure you stick through and stay t to the last two because those are gonna be the most valuable tips that I give you so tip number one where do I find these VAs right so the first place you can find them is through upwork.com the second place is through onlinejobs.ph and the third offer done for you solution is that I've seen and I've recommended to other people and I've, I've heard good experiences about is AMZ Staffing Solutions. So Upwork.com basically it's a platform that connects uh, people who are looking for jobs and people who are trying to find people to help them with these uh, with whatever task they have, right? Anything online, digital, remote. So Upwork.com is one of my personal favorites. It's where I get um, basically 99% of my VAs. But um, onlinejobs.ph is a very popular one that too that a lot of people use. Um, I kind of am annoyed at it because they charge like a monthly subscription fee. But supposedly the quality of workers there are a little bit better and they're all located in the Philippines which is like one of my favorite places to hire from. All right. So they do charge that monthly fee, so keep that in mind. And then lastly, AMZ Staffing Solutions. So AMZ Staffing Solutions is basically an all done for you platform. Um, so you don't need to find a VA, you just need to figure out what tasks you need to get done. And they already have a trained team that knows how to use Amazon, that knows how to do like customer service, change variations, like do all that annoying stuff that you don't wanna do, like PPC. Uh, make your photo like background white stuff like that right private label maybe listing optimization little things like that they can do it for you right so like you don't have to go out try find like the perfect freelancer that can do just this right in staffing solutions like they already have their team right they already built it out they figured it out already so they just do it at like a, somewhat of an upcharge compared to like Upwork and online PH so if you don't if you want to get straight into it and get some like high quality people then just go there if you have the time and a little bit of extra time to dedicate to training someone a VA or like pointing them in the right direction and molding them to like what you want them to be 
then go ahead and go through Upwork or onlinejobs.ph. Tip number two, if you're hiring for something like an easy task, I highly recommend going through uh, the Philippines, right? So the Philippines has a lot of high quality people that are like really suitable for like easy to like medium level like tasks. So anything like customer service, like I would totally like hire someone in the Philippines for like listing optimization, maybe in the Philippines if you can find the right guy. But what I'm trying to say is like when it comes to like most operational tasks, the Philippines is my favorite place to hire out from. The people are great, you know, uh, they're loyal and the pay is um, affordable for both parties, right? If you're trying to do more advanced work, like say you're trying to do website design, you're trying to get you know your UI fixed or something, uh, your user interface, your user experience, like any design work uh, that you want to spend a little bit more money and you want some high quality work, I wouldn't recommend the Philippines for that, but I would recommend Eastern Europe, right? So Eastern Europe, like uh, Siberia um, is where I have good experience from, the Ukraine, stuff like that, places like that um, have high quality workers and they're basically between the middle grounds of like USA prices and the Philippine and the Philippines like Asia. So if you're looking for anything easy level, Philippines, anything more difficult design wise, I would look over in Eastern Europe, right? So that's how I filter.